Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Emily, back again. Um, I know I haven't uploaded a video since me and my sister reacted to the How to Train Your Dragon 3 trailer, which was like two, three months ago. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I really wanted to do this video. Um, I have a haul from Fox Lunch, as you can see. <laughs> I spent a good amount of money on these things, but I just had to get them. I'm really big fan of, you know, the Wreck-It Ralph 2, um, even though I haven't seen it, you know, Ralph Breaks the Internet. I just love the designs for the princesses. Um, and so you know that your boy had to get the Funko Rock Candy um, collectibles for each princess that has been released. So... Right here we have Moana, we have Mulan, Ugh. Belle, Jasmine, Ariel, and Rapunzel. So yes, we are going to be doing an unboxing technically. <laughs> Not technically, it is an unboxing. Um, I'm a kid's channel now, so. Um, these were 15 bucks a pop. <laughs> they were 10 bucks online at Box Lunch, but my uh, procrastinating, but I didn't buy them. So they sold out like within 30 minutes. <laughs> um, so I had to pay the full price. But lucky for me, I went on a weekday to my local Box Lunch at the mall. Um, so I was able to get these while they were stocking them, so it's quite nice. Um, I really do wish my camera was better quality, but I don't have a camera. I have the computer, <laughs> the Mac, the 2013 Mac uh, computer camera, so um, I work with what I have. My priorities clearly are in the right place. I spent 116, I mean, 106? No, 96 bucks, but I bought Pocahontas on Amazon for another 22 bucks. So, um, I just got paid. I, <laughs> I just got paid. Let me put it like that. Um, so I guess we'll start the unboxing. Um, I'm not going to throw away the boxes, of course. That would be ridiculous of me. <laughs> um, you know, if the day ever comes where I would want to sell these. Um, I hope that day doesn't come, but... It might, what can I say? My room is very small. So we're going to open them up um, by the order of movie release. So the oldest one we have here is Ariel from 1989. So we're going to open this up. <laughs> Funny thing is, uh, these ended up costing just about... I was planning on saving the money for um, those really cute dolls that they're selling at the Disney store. Um... The limited edition ones where it's like Snow White, Jasmine, Belle, Pocahontas, oh not Pocahontas, um, and Tiana, where it's like the runway fashion of their year. Those things cost 116 bucks, and um, I would have had to spend the same amount, um, but in the end I decided to go for these. Um, so this is Ariel, she's really cute, um, honestly, I like these, these look a lot better outside of the box. She comes with a stand, wish I could uh, put her down and you could see her, but that's not going to happen. She comes with the stand, you can just stand around here, if I could fit it on, there we go. She's really cute actually, I like her a lot. <laughs> I kind of regretted this at first, but, I mean, opening up the box, I have no regrets now. Uh, let me put it like that. I, I really like these. These are so cute. <laughs> so I'm going to put that to the side. That was Ariel. And so next we have Belle from 1992's Beauty and the Beast. Uh, now, Belle, um, I really do like her outfit. But I think they kind of went overboard with the whole reading thing. She's always got her nose in a book. And I understand that's the case. Um, you know what? I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, all the characters I noticed are exaggerations of their uh, movie counterparts, in a sense. And that's something that the directors of Rekka 
wanted to make clear. They're not the characters necessarily, they're their internet counterparts, which makes sense. Alright, so here's Belle. Also really cute. <laughs> I love her facial expression. I feel like she just got to the romantic part in the book. And I really like her shirt too. It says, uh, Beast, Fre F Beast Friends Forever. <laughs> it's really cute. And her hair. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so far, I am going from pure regret to not regretting anything at all and willing to buy, I mean, like, ready to buy the next six. Uh, because the ones I need uh, that haven't been released yet are, of course, um, the the first three and the other three. Um, so we have Snow White, Cinderella, Aurora, and Merida, Anna, Elsa, Anna and Elsa. So um, it's kind of a shame that they don't have um, Elena of Avalor, but I mean, it's to be expected, I suppose. All right, so now we're gonna open up Jasmine. From 1992, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I said the year's wrong. Uh, Belle is from 1991, and it's Aladdin, or Jasmine, I should say, that's from 1992. Aladdin used to be one of my favorite movies growing up. Um, I really liked it. It was on part of, like, Toy Story 2. I would watch those movies, like, as often as I could as a little kid. I'm sure my mom is very <laughs> Aladdin and, uh, Toy Story 2'd out, but it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> she looks kind of uh, devious a little bit. Hmm, I wonder what she's got going on with the lamp. I thought it was funny that they decided to give her the lamp when it's Aladdin's thing. I don't know, like, that was a stick, I suppose, the lamp. Even though she hardly ever interact, she don't. I don't think she ever interacted with Genie in the first movie. Um, not even very much in the third movie, <laughs> or the third or the second movie, I should say. Um, those which I just watched recently, for the first time. So that's nice. I really felt like the third, second movie, didn't have much to offer, to the series, except Iago getting a redemption story. But the third movie was really good. All right. So this is Jasmine on her stand. Whoops. Not standing up very well, but I'll get, I'll fix that. Her shirt says, three wishes. Yeah, it's Jeannie's hand, and then it says wishes. So Jasmine looks really cool. I like her shoes. Alright, so that's Jasmine from Aladdin. Oops. She's the only one that's, I don't think, uh, the titular character, I suppose. Um, the movie's called Aladdin. She's... I don't know if I would consider her the second protagonist or the deuter uh, the deuteragonist. I don't know what the second protagonist is referred to. Yeah. All right, next up we have. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> we have 1998's Mulan. Yeah, 1998's Mulan. Um, another favorite. I really, really like the outfit they gave her. The bomber jacket is just. It's so. Um, it's everything. What can I say? It's really cute. Oops. So I'm pretty happy about that. Overall, I don't think I have any complaints on their outfits. I think all of them are pretty solid and true to the character, especially. I think that's the most important, one of the most important things anyway, that they remain true and faithful to the characters. Goes there, and then Mulan's got a sword. Hmm. Shouldn't be surprised. Um, I am a little surprised, however, that her sword is kind of bent. But, anyways, here's Mulan. Super cute, honestly. They look so much better out of the box. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Mushu's on her, Mushu is on her back, uh, is on the back of the jacket, but he's golden. It kind of reminds me of a. Uh, um, Shaolin Showdown, but like the second half, Shaolin Chronicles, when they recolored, um, I think the dragon's name was Dojo, and they turned him from green to gold. That's what that reminds me of. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's Mulan. 
Um, next up we have uh, 2010's Rapunzel from Tangled. Um, she's one of my favorite princesses. Um, second to Merida from Brave. So you can tell I'm very excited to get for Merida to come out. Um, I was originally planning just to get the four, the big four, you know, uh, Rapunzel, Merida, Anna, and Elsa. But that didn't happen. <laughs> I went a little overboard. But you know what? I'm working now. And I deserve to spoil myself. I'm so, I'm so, so selfish. Um, I have some toys I, I'm planning on selling. And I'm hoping to get some extra hours at work. But we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I already asked my boss for the extra hours. So we'll see if he gets back. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully they don't let me down. Mm, all right. So this is Rapunzel. She's got a hoodie on. A really cute hoodie. Um, I have to say they took like looks like they took some uh, inspiration from Jack Frost there. <laughs> I don't ship Jack Rapunzel. I really don't. But anyways, her shirt says, "Oh, it's the Snuggly Duckling." At first, I thought it was the sun, but I, don't know. I wish that could zoom in. Hold on. Oh, I don't know how this works, honestly. It's the Snuggly Duckling. And I think her leggings in the movie have the suns. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. But she doesn't have them on the, the figure, so I don't know. Maybe that's just something that's in the trailer that's different and that will be different in the actual movie. I couldn't tell you, but um, that's Rapunzel. She's really cute. Um, I wish they maybe would have made her hair a little bit longer. But in the end, it's just a figure and there's only so much they can do. But, uh, yeah, that's Rapunzel. And last, but most certainly not least, we have 2016's Moana. Which, honestly, if I'm true to being honest to myself, one million percent honest, I didn't actually care for Moana, the movie, very much. It was very underwhelming to me. Um, it just didn't really bring anything new to the table. It wasn't, like, tangled in the sense that it was the first, C she was the first C CGI princess, she went on this adventure with this renegade who wasn't, he wasn't really a prince, he was a renegade, um, and she went on this journey of finding herself, um, and then, you know, Merida didn't have a prince, Anna and Elsa, their, uh, the love in that movie was between each other, and Moana, I don't know, she just seemed kind of, um, like luster. But anyways, I still really enjoyed the movie. I think the animation is amazing. And here is Moana. Her shirt says hashtag shiny and it's got Tomatoa on there. <laughs> Should be a picture of Mr. Uh, I would have lost if it was a picture of Mr. Krabs or something. <laughs> but that's her. She's got her oar. She's barefoot. And she's still got her iconic necklace. But yeah, that's all the figures I have, I bought, <laughs> that they have out right now. Like I said, I pre-ordered um, Pocahontas off of Amazon, and they were temporarily out of stock, which is a shame, but um, at least they weren't completely out of stock to where I couldn't order it. So I will be getting her soon, hopefully. And um, when the other ones come in, I'll try and hit box lunch um, as soon as I can, so that way I can pick them up because I'm going to be really devastated if I could, um, if I got all my hands on these and weren't able to get my, <laughs> I was able to get my hands on all of these and not able to get my hands on the ones that I think, uh, that I originally wanted, you know what I mean? Anna, Elsa, Merida, Snow White, Cinderella, Rapunzel, I mean, Aurora. <laughs> oh, I'm all, my words are all over the place today, but uh, yeah, these are all of them. I'm really, really, really satisfied with the quality of these. I couldn't have asked for anything more. And I think Funko and uh, Rock Candy, I mean, the Rock Candy, which is owned by Funko, I think they did an amazing job with these. And honestly, I can't complain at all. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try and upload a little bit more consistently. I've been wanting to do a video for a long time on... Um, the Chainsmokers song, um, Everybody Hates Me and Why I Think It's a Genius Song, 
but I just can't seem to find the motivation. Um, but I'll try and get to that. Um, sorry for the editing, uh, for the lack of editing, I should say. I'll see you guys later. Bye.